Hey everyone, it's Maria Young here, and I sure do thank you guys so much for hanging out with me right here in the very windy gardens of my orchid adventures. And I do have to apologize in advance if you do hear some wind noises, but you guys know I am at the mercy of nature and that's just how we rock and roll here at my orchid adventures and we will still get the job done. And here we are folks. This is what I am calling a major prison pot breakout for this monster grammatophyllum right here that has been way overdue for a repot. And I have to say her health has sadly declined. So it is indeed affecting even the way in which she grows. Now today, we are hoping that it's going to be a day of liberation, that she is going to be exonerated and she will finally be set free. So let's go ahead and take a closer look and you guys will see exactly what I am talking about when I say tremendous and extreme breakout for this gal right here. Okay, so before we begin, I'm gonna go ahead and let you know exactly what she is. And this is a Grammatophyllum scriptum variable leopard NN. Okay, so first let's take a look at exactly what her size is. And you can see that she is pretty massive, about three feet in diameter in regards to her leaf span. Now, if we take a look right here, you will see how itty bitty bitty that pot is in comparison to her size. And if we take a closer look, you will also see how her roots are beginning to swallow that little itty bitty pot up. And if we take you all the way around, you will indeed see exactly how massive her root system is and how she is really beginning to overtake this pot. But this husky gal right here, if we take a close look, is with child and she does have a couple of them coming along. So yes, mama needs a brand new home and today we are going to give it to her. And the materials that we will be using for this prison pot breakout today will be this very sharp knife, AKA a shank. And then this very sharp pair of scissor. Also my gloves because I am prone to accidents, guys. And then we have this very huge and large bird cage that we are going to be using as its very brand new home and container. And then inside we have this coconut husk liner along with that bark media right there and it's a mixture of bark perlite and also coal okay so before we begin i do want to let you guys know that this is going to be quite a challenge i have to tell you that earlier on i did attempt to cut this pot with that pair of scissor and i was unsuccessful this pot is actually a whole lot thicker than your average everyday pot so i am actually going to have to literally take a stab at it see if i can make an entrance hole or a cut so that perhaps i can attempt to go ahead and cut this pot away at least that's the plan of action now as you guys know plans may change as we go so we're just gonna have to really take a look and see now i do need you guys to bear witness to this just in case there's an unfortunate mishap you guys call 911 you guys are there to tell the story okay so here we go folks without further ado and i'm gonna go ahead and attempt to hit it a couple of times. There you go, I see an entrance way right there. Okay, there you go. And we'll see if that is enough to get that pair of scissor in here. And perhaps we can uh, get this breakout party started here. And oh man, this pot is so thick. I don't think we're going to be able to do it with this pair of scissor. I think we're going to have to continue with the knife. I hate to continue with this knife because man, oh man, this is a pretty sharp knife and you're going to have to put a whole lot of pressure. Okay guys, so let's try it another way. Come on. Okay, maybe not. Okay, so let's perhaps try it again with the pair of scissor. I don't know. 
Oh, look at that. Okay, maybe, maybe, maybe. Possible chance here. Wow, who would have guessed? Okay, so I'm actually not really cutting into it. I'm just uh, using pressure to pull up against that pot where it's cutting. Oh my goodness, woo! You seen that? Didn't I tell you guys I needed you there? Okay, so here we go. Here we go, we're almost there. Still can't rip it away. Oh my gosh, this is so dangerous, guys. I should have waited till my hubby got home. But you guys know I'm so impatient. There it goes. Okay, we're almost there. Woo! Wow, what a tremendous workout. Okay, there. Let's go ahead and move this away, okay? <laughs> this is accident-free zone, right? Okay, so I'm just using all my weight and pressure here trying to rip this apart. Oh my goodness, didn't I tell you guys? Okay, so that's not gonna work either. Ooh. Okay, so let's go ahead and see if we can make an attempt to go ahead and cut into the bottom of the pot, releasing more and more. Wow, wow, look, it's like rock hard. Whew. Okay, so we're just gonna continue with this scissor, guys. Come on, come on, we can do this. Come on, yes, we're getting there, guys, okay. We're getting movement, it's beginning to budge. Look at that. Wow. Wow. Right there, guys. Look at that. Oh my goodness. This is hard as a rock. There is no way I can get that loose, guys. We're just going to have to put it into the pot, the container, as it is. Wow. Whew. I broke out into a sweat on this one. And if we can just take a closer look at this root system right here, and see how tremendously it was packed in so tightly into that pot, begging to be set free. I mean, this is just so amazing what we're seeing right here. I cannot believe it. I mean, this has fully taken the shape of that actual pot. And I'm telling you, there's no way of getting in there unless we tear away and just damage all of these roots. So I'm not even going to attempt it. No, this orchid right here has been through too much already. I'm just gonna let it rest within its new home. And will you guys take a look at this? I mean, look at her. She is sitting right here on that table on her own, guys. That is how tightly conformed her roots were to that pot. I mean, she's made her own very pot out of her roots. She is sitting there potless. That's her roots that's allowing her balance to sustain and stand there as she is. Isn't that just ridiculous? Okay, so here's a little joke that I did want to share with you guys. Let's go ahead and take a look at the opening of this birdcage. There it is, that's the opening right here, this square. Now let's take a look at the actual orchid. Um, is there a way that we can get this orchid into that little opening right there? I think not. So we're gonna have to get a little bit creative in how we find a way into this bird cage. Okay, so our next option is if we can't go through the front door, well, you guys know the drill, we'll go through the roof. And we're gonna attempt to bend these wires to a point there's a big enough opening that we can actually insert the grammatophyllum. Yeah, what a mission at hand still. I really don't want to have to cut these wires away, so that's what we're gonna do first. So let's go ahead and use our muscle-bound strength and open it as wide as we can. And now the question is, is it actually possible, guys? We shall surely see. I'm keeping my fingers crossed. Okay, so here it is. We want this facing this way. That is more to the front, so we're gonna really have to maneuver this into here. And yep, it's a little bit tricky, guys. 
if there is a will, there definitely is a way and we are going to find that way. Okay, there you go. Ah, now, of course, we're gonna have to be as careful as we can to bend these leaves. Wow, guys. Uh, it's a little bit more difficult than I thought it would be. I'm sorry, little gal. I am so sorry. There you go. We can do this, guys. We can do it. We can do it. There you go, there you go, there you go. Ha, ha, ha. Okay, look at there. We're almost done. Just a couple of more leaves and we'll be through. I am so sorry, but once it's done and complete, you'll be so much more happier. I promised. Look at there. Just a couple of more leaves. I know guys, it looked pretty painful, right? Trust me, I think it hurt me worse than it hurt the orchid. So what we're gonna do now is finish backfilling the actual container. And we're not actually going to fill it all the way to the top where you see these roots right here, because these actually don't act as the regular roots in regards to their function. This is what they consider the fingers of the actual grammatophyllum, where it helps it to retrieve waste matter and also debris, plant matter, leaves and things of that nature to nourish the actual plant. So it's not actually functioning like regular roots. So we're not going to have to fill it up all the way, just part way of this liner. So we're gonna go ahead and do that all the way around guys. Just filling away, just filling away, making sure that that liner is filled up. And here she is now, as you can see, the entire container is all filled up all the way around. And as you also can see, she has far more room to grow, not confined, not tightly imprisoned, but now she has freedom to roam. And you do see part of her real roots sticking out right here, but that's quite all right. In time, it'll conform to her new living arrangement as well. And there she is. What do you guys think? So how about that for a brand new home? I really do believe she looks so much more happier. As a matter of fact, she looks almost as if she's spreading her wings and she's ready to fly. What a life changing difference, guys. And will you guys take a look at that right there? Do you guys see that M hook? You know, the one that I showed you guys how to create and make. And indeed, we are using it on this big humonga dunga wonga of a container, which is very heavy by the way. So do you guys think that this little itty bitty old M hook can hold this container up? Say what? Well, yes indeed, it most certainly can. And without a single problem. And there you have it, folks. That is our breaking out of the prison pot wrap. And I do have to tell you, I am so relieved that we were successful. And I am so relieved that no one was harmed in the process, especially me, guys. I really do hope that you guys like this video and I do hope that you learned something new from it, especially the fact that if there is a will, there definitely is a way. If you're determined enough, then you will find that way in which we did today. Yay! We did it, guys! We did it! So if you like this video, please be sure to like, share, and also subscribe. And please be sure to turn on that bell notification button so you guys will know exactly when I do post a new video. Also, be sure to join me on Instagram and Facebook at My Orchid Adventures. And with that being said, you guys already know that I do truly love and appreciate each and every one of you guys all. And I will see you guys later. And I'll also grow with you guys later as well. Bye-bye for now. Mwah.